I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you two interesting questions on exponential expressions. You need to simplify these two and write down your answer. You can pause the video and then look into my suggestion. The first one here is square root of square root of 1024 and here again we have two square roots of 64 x to the power of 6. You can copy these questions, solve and then look into my suggestion. Now let's begin with the very first one, which is the number 1024. Now how do we find square root of this number? Well, some of you might know that 1024 is 2 to the power of 10. Then you can straight away start by writing 1024 as 2 to the power of 10 and find your solution. But here is a way to figure it out. So what we can do is we can find prime factors of this number. So it is 2 times 1024 divided by 2, you get 512. Then again divide by 2, so you get 256. And again divide by 2, you get uh, 2 times 1, 2 times 128. And then again divide by 2, you get 64. Then again divide by 2, half of 64. 32, 16. 8, 4, and that is 2 times 2 is 4, right? So that gives us powers of 2 in a series, right? So 1024 can be written as uh, 2 to the power of what? Let's count. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I could write this as 2 to the power of 10 square root, square root, correct? So that is one way of doing it. Now, square root means half, or I could have also written this as equal to 2 to the power of 10 to the power of, square root means half, right? So we can write as exponential powers. Do you see that? It becomes kind of simpler, right? So basically, we can use the power root now here when it is kind of like this. So we could write this as 2 to the power of 10 divided by 4, right? So 10 divided by 4 or you could write this as 2 to the power of 10 divided by 4 you can divide both by 2 so 5 and a half right 5 divided by 2 that means 2 whole and 1 square root right so 2 whole and 1 square root right so that could be written as you could write this as 2.5 right so 2 whole so 2 square times 2 to the power of half and that gives you the answer, which is 4 square root 2. Correct. So like this, you can, you can find the solution. You could have also written at this stage, I'm just exploring different ways of doing it. If you write this as 2 to the power of 10, you can start from this square root. And then you could have written this as square root of solving the inside square root first. You get 2 to the power of 5. Is it okay? And then you solve this square root, which is 2 to the power of 5 means uh, you have 5 2s. So 4 of them can be combined. Let me use this like this. So 5 2s is like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? So you can combine 4 of them. So this makes one pair, the other one. Right? So it becomes 2 times 2 outside, which is 4 square root 2. So this could have been another way of solving the same exponents, right? So either way, you could do it using the power rule or your concept. Anyway, so here is the second question for you. You can apply any of these methods which you like and then solve this question. Let me do it the second way. I find this to be simpler rather than applying these power rules. 64 so I'm maintaining the outside square root and I will solve the inside one What is square root of 64? It is 8, right? And x to the power of 6 divided by 2 will give me x cube. Is that okay? Now this 8, you know, is kind of 2 times 2 times 2 and x cube is x times x times x. This is what we have within the square root. So if you look into it Two of these can be grouped 4, square root of 4 is 2, it could be brought outside. 
Similarly, two of the x's can be combined. It could be brought outside. So inside we have 2x. So that is how you could actually solve it. Now I think the second method makes more sense. So I prefer doing it like this most of the time. But when things become complicated, there are more than one expression involved, applying rules may be easier and faster. Okay, so here in this case, the answer is 2x square root of 2x, right? So that is how you could actually do it. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always subscribe and share my videos to understand the concepts. Thank you and all the best.